In this video, we're going to use the unit circle to help us figure out the values of theta. Okay, and there's two basic ways that they'll ask this question. And so these four examples that I have, um, we're going to answer them both ways. So they could either ask for, to find all values, or they could ask to find it in a particular interval. And they might they might put it in radians like I did right here, or I might say that zero degrees is less than or equal to theta, which is less than or equal to 360 degrees. And if I wrote this out, then you'd answer it in degrees, but we like to live in radians unless otherwise indicated. So the unit circle we predominantly do with radians. So this first one, we already know from our unit circle that, um, that the x, we find the x and the y coordinates, and that the x coordinate is cosine of theta, and the y coordinate is sine of theta. We also, we know where everything is on the unit circle. We also know that tangent of theta is sine over cosine, and it's also, or in other words, it's the slope of that line. Okay, so um, so we, we walk in knowing a lot at this point. So the first one here, they say cosine of theta is equal to 1 half. So cosine, we remember to be the x value. So I want to know when is my x 1 half. Well, the numbers that I, that I care about, it's 0, it's 1 half, it's root 2 over 2, it's root 3 over 2, and it's 1, and then... Um, and then they, we can have negatives of those things. So what I notice here is that of these, I've put them um, in order. Okay, so one half is going to be, well, it's not as small as zero, but it's the smallest of the other options. So cosine is my x value. And so I want to know when is x one half? Well, when is it one half? It would be one half along this line right here. And so that happens here, and it happens here. Okay, now if I, I know my unit circle and I know that this is pi over three and I know that this is five pi over three, and when they say find my answers between zero and two pi, I'm done. Theta equals pi over three and theta equals five pi over three. But when they say find all, that's where we need to think about our coterminal angles. Okay, I could have this right here and I could have gone around once and then stopped. Or I could have gone in the negative direction, and I could have circled a few times. Sorry, I'm having fun. And then stopped here. Okay, so if you think about it, there are infinitely many ways for us to find, uh, to, to land at that same coterminal angle. Um, and so each one of those is adding 2 pi. So what we'll do... Um, another way to say that is, okay, we have we have three, um, we have pi over three. I could add two pi, that gives me, which is six pi over three, so that gives me seven pi over three. I could do it again, that gives me 13 pi over three. I could do it again, and I can keep going, but what I'm doing here, or I could go in the negative direction, so that's a negative five pi over three. That's a negative 11 pi over three, okay? So what I have is, I, this is the one that I care about, that's in my first go around the circle, but I need to add or subtract two pi each time. So what we'll do in part, part A is we'll say, well, it's pi over three plus two pi k, and then we use the fancy math notation where k is an element of this z with an extra line. It looks something like, well, okay, anyway. That means this is saying k is an element of the integers. So this will allow us to add 2 pi k, or excuse me, it allows us to add 2 pi, it allows us to add 4 pi, it allows us to add 6 pi, but I don't want to multiply this by a non-integer. I have to go entirely around the circle each time. So that has taken care of this family of answers. So everything that's coterminal to this one right here. I also have this family of answers. This got messy, but I hope this makes sense. Um, so here's the answer for B. And this one we'd also, so the second part of A is that it's five pi over three plus two pi K, where K is an element of the integers. Now my kids a few years ago started calling that Kez because it looks like Kez. Um, and I would tell, my IB kids that you should probably, on the actual IB exam, you should probably write it everywhere you need it because they need to know that you know that K has to be an integer. Uh, my pre-cal kids and IB kids on a paper in my room, if you write it once at the top, then I know that that's what you mean. Write it at least once. You don't necessarily, I mean, it's better math to write it all the time, but do it at least one time on your paper. So let's look at the next one. 
Now they're telling us sine is equal to root 2 over 2. So sine, as you know, sine is the y value. So I want to know when is my y value root 2 over 2. Root 2 over 2 tells me I'm in the pi over 4 family. Since it's positive, that means that I've got this positive line going through here. So it's this point or it's this point on my circle, which is pi over 4 and then 3 pi over 4. So see why it's so important to know the unit circle? So when they ask me to find all, well, to find all of them, that means that I could have, I need to take into consideration all the coterminal angles. So I'm going to add 2 pi k, where k is an element of the integers. That's only half. I mean, there's infinitely many of them, but it's only one family of my answers. It's only half of my, anyway, never mind. Okay, and then I have this plus 2 pi k, where k is an element of the integers. For part b, they just want to say that, okay, what is it? One time around, where did I stop? I stopped at pi over 4, and I stopped at 3 pi over 4. Okay. The next two are not sine and cosine, which is kind of fun. So remember how we said tangent had to do with slope. So on this one, I remember when I start dividing things, my tangent values are either going to be my... Um, I'm going to have, from the unit circle, I have the tangent of theta could either equal, um, well, 0 over 1, which is just 0. It could equal, if I take 1 half and I divide it by root 3 over 2, notice that's the same thing as multiplying by 2 over root 3. This, the 2's cancel, I have 1 over root 3. We're going to rationalize my denominator, which is root 3 over 3. That was a little tedious. Um, I have root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2. Notice the same things on top and bottom. That's 1. I also have um, root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, which I multiply by the reciprocal times 2 over 1. The 2's cancel. That's root 3. And then I could take 1 and try and divide by 0, but I'm not Chuck Norris, so I can't divide by 0. So this would be undefined. Okay, so notice this was, I was doing all my coordinates as I, in quadrant one, basically. So all of these could also be negative. So when I look back here, um, what I think of in my, with, with tangent is I think of how, how steep is it. So the pi over four family has a slope of either a positive one or negative one. Um, the pi over, what is it? The pi over 6 family right here and right here are less steep. That's root 3 over 3. And the pi over 3 family is the one that's more steep, and that's got a slope of root 3. And then this is an undefined. Think of, well, that slope is undefined. Okay, so now it's negative. That means I need a negative, a slope, a negative slope. So I'm in quadrants 2 and 4 instead of 1 and 3. So this value right here is, um, what is that? That's 2 pi over 3. And I'm also down here. That's 4 pi. No, I lied to you. Ha <laughs> ha. That's, I didn't mean to lie to you, but I did. 5 pi over 3. Okay? So notice, another thing that we can think about here is that these are exactly 180. They're exactly pi units apart. So when they say find all, my favorite way to find all is to just say that theta is equal to 2 pi over 3 plus pi k. Okay? Where k is an element of the integers. Um, so notice if I add pi, I end up here, and then I add pi and I end up here, and I add pi and I end up here. So this is, this is the efficient way to do it. If you decided that you wanted to tell me that it's 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k, and you wanted to tell me that it's 5 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k, you're not wrong. You just had to write, and obviously, because, um, that's a z, pretend. Um, you're not wrong, I just... I'm lazy, I mean efficient, and I'm going to say it as fast as I can. So then when they say between zero, and, uh, between 0 and 2 pi, what are my values? Well, they were 2 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. All right. The last one that I want to do with you is um, cosecant. So what we need to think about here is who's cosecant's buddy, and cosecant's buddy is sine. So this, I could rewrite this as saying this is 1 over sine is equal to negative 2. And now I can either think of this as multiplying and then dividing, or I'm taking the reciprocal of both sides. Um, and so sine of theta is equal to a negative one-half. I've taken the reciprocal of both sides. Well, I multiply, divide it. If that isn't clear, come see me. Um, so sine is my y value. I want to know where it's equal to negative one-half, and that's here and here. And so this is, what, 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. Now, I am not going to give you this many unit circles. 
And I expect you to get to a point where you don't need to see the unit circle. Um, so what I do is I think through this in my head. Okay, sine is my y value. I went down a little. And so like I'll think, what did I do? I went down a little. And that little bit means that I'm farther, like that my in the quadrant 3, I went down just a little. That's that 7 pi over 6. And then my quadrant 4, I went down a little. That's 11 pi over 6. And the more you practice these without trying to visualize it, the faster you get, the better it gets. Um, OK, so this would be theta is equal to 7 pi over 6. They said find all, so we have to do 2 pi k. This, and it also includes this family. And then if I only want it on one time around the unit circle, there we go. OK, I hope that's clear. Um, I'm not likely to make you to answer both ways on each problem. I just wanted to practice it this way in the notes. Um, so I'm likely, you just always want to make sure you read the directions. So if you don't answer it the correct way, then you might not get the full points. So pay attention to what they're asking and make sure you ask the question that's asked. Excuse me, you answer the question that's asked. Um, practice, practice, practice. Make sure you know the, in the unit circle inside out, upside down, and backwards. Um, it's hugely important moving forward. Good luck.